Today we're opening a mystery package. I think, I don't know what this is, but we're about to find out. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and I got a package in the mail and I'm not sure what it is. I opened it up and saw a note and it seems to have a bunch of random product in it. So we're gonna open it up as a mystery package because I don't know what it is, but first we have a giveaway. I will be giving away two Apprentice Illusion Magicians and two Evil Hero Adusted Golds from the newest Legendary Duelist Season 3. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about the mystery package. I'm really excited because I really have no idea what this is. I don't remember if they told me they were sending this or not. I guess we'll find out in just a second, so let's get into it. First we have a note. Let's see what this says. Ruxin, thanks for opening the Kaiba Court mystery package. So this is a Kaiba Court mystery package. Three booster packs, seven Pharaohs collection booster packs, two secret rare Kaiba Corp random pack, one deck box, structure deck, paper mat, pack of hollows, card sleeve, and Kaiba Corp item. Okay. Tell them to go shop with us at Kaiba Corp 2022 on Etsy.com. Also subscribe to our YouTube at Real Atim, uh, all one word. These mystery packages contain the same amount of stuff. I didn't load yours up, LOL. Okay, I guess, I mean, that's up for interpretation, but they say they did. Also limited to three until I get want more in stock okay so there's only three of these apparently so we have one of four maybe I'm, I'm guessing there's three more so let's see what's inside the first item is a structure deck um this doesn't look like a, a any structure deck i've ever seen we have a structure deck dark side of the rainbow um hello <laughs> what is this so are these fake cards? Are they all fake cards? I'm very confused. Uh, we're about to open it up and find out. Let's see what's in a dark side of the rainbow structure. Where's this custom? Like, what is this? Okay, this is certainly a fake card. Rainbow Dark Dragon. I mean, it looks pretty cool, I'd say, but there's no foil or anything, unfortunately. That would be pretty nice. What is in here? You know, a whole fake deck or is it a real deck? Maybe it's like a custom card. And Wait, maybe there is foil. Wait, there's like secret rare, but it, do it like doesn't shine. It's like... Okay, it barely shines. It does shine a little bit, so it's sort of there. Are these just like the fake versions of the tier, like, or all the uh, new Crystal Beast cards that are coming out? Like, I'm so confused. Cause like, and when we opened for the Blue Eyes White Dragon the other day, go check that video out. This is a real card in there. I don't know if this is actually what it's called, but this seems like it's the deck for Crystal Beast, but it's not actually out in English yet. Maybe they actually just put the right or the correct names on it. Very interesting. So we get an early version of the Crystal Beast. This is weird. This is like, I, I didn't know. I don't know what to think about this. It's like not cards that are out in the OCG, but they're not out in the TCG, but they're in English, but they're fake, but they're real cards that are coming out. Okay, this is an old card. So some of this stuff is old, but I guess this is just a Crystal Beast like deck early. Very weird. I mean, OK, that's kind of hollow. Very weird. I don't know what to think about this. Pretty cool and also weird. Like, it's cool to see these like already, even though they're not out yet. These do not go around very well. OK, Trap Strap. Is that a real name? Trap Strap? That's odd. Yeah, that's very odd. OK, all right. I'm not sure what to think about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of that deck. So I guess they're a real card. They didn't seem to have weird names or anything. So it's just like the real versions, but they're like in the bad old, you know, fake quality, I guess. Weird. Let's just keep going. Item number two. What is this? Oh, we have a uh, oh, one of the mats. OK, what's the mat going to be? It's one of the paper mats. So this came out of like a structure deck at some point. Structure deck is Cyber Strike. So it's the Cyber Strike play mat. I never really like these because they don't lay down very well. You play on them and then they kind of like do like this and stuff, you know, in the middle of it. So not a huge fan of them, but very cheap. So affordable if you don't want to spend any money on your map. Okay, we have some uh, penny sleeves. I can always use these. Card sleeves are always useful for like shipping cards and stuff like that. So that's cool in the mystery packets. Let's see what else we have. Oh, uh oh, anime cards. What's it going to be? Let's see what we will get. I don't know. So far, we've had two sets of fake cards. Technically, I mean, these aren't real technically, but they're anime cards. So like it's kind of accepted at that point. It's OK for that. Let's see, we have the Winged Dragon of Raw. Very beautiful. The Red Eyes Black Dragon. The Silver Fang. Flame Swordsman. The Giant Soldier of Stone. Feral Imp. Change of Heart. I really like the Change of Heart. I really like how the anime cart, and they just look cool, you know, like all artwork, and then, you know, there's not like borders or anything. I mean, there's a slight border, but Vampire Lord. We got the Gear for the Iron Knight. We've got the Graceful Charity. Card of Sanctity. Draw six cards. Man Eater Bug. Time Wizard. We've got a Gill for the Lightning. Sangan Genzo. Pot of Greed. Panther Warrior. We've got Garlandol for no, that's not him. It's uh Garlandolf is the ultimate rare guy. This is like it's it's a similar G name. I can never remember. 
Oh, we've got Mammoth Graveyard. This is Spellbinding Circle, the original art. Spellbinding Circle! Because that's, you know, the Exodia and the OCG hat is this behind it, this, the triangle-y one. We've got the uh, Meteor Bee Dragon or something, Celtic Guardian, Dark Hole, Black Skull Dragon. We've got the Premature Barrel with the X on it, which is the OCG artwork, which is pretty cool. Uh, Negate Attack, we've got Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, the Grande Moth, and then we've got a copycat. Where's the Where's the Pequeno Moth? Oh, wait. Say where. Pequeno Moth needs to be in here with the Grande. That'd be pretty sick. We'll put Grande back there because he's pretty Grande. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. So there's a deck box. Let's do these cards, I guess. So we have these cards here. Um, these are, oh, these are also fake cards. I'm so confused. I guess, I mean, are they fake or custom or like, I don't I don't understand. I mean, this is like, looks kind of custom-y, you know, with that really nice looking foil, actually. It looks pretty cool. We've got a like collector rare dark magician and blue eyes. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. It's got, got that same collector rare, like shatter sort of foil look to it. And then a really beautiful, I don't know what foil this would be called, but it looks nice. We should add that to the, to the TCG. It looks really good. What's going to be in here? Oh, these are, uh, oh, 100 dragon. So this is actually a real card. So this is our first couple real cards, I think. Dark Magician from MVP1 and 100 Dragon Secret Rare from the Dragons of Legend Complete Series. Okay, real Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's a good start. These appear to be real from what I can tell. So let's see if these are real as well. They said their stores on Etsy. I definitely feel like I'm buying on Etsy. Like a lot of fake stuff, a lot of real stuff, you know, just some, some different versions of stuff we have. Let's just see. Okay, there's a Red Eyes B Dragon and I well both say black now. Red Eyes Black Dragon. So they're both the collector rare look. Another Red Eyes. This is like a Red Eyes mystery pack. We've got a Black Rose Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, different. We have all the artwork. Oh, wait, there's two of those. We got two Red Eyes. Okay. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. This looks like a trap card. It doesn't look like a fusion. It looks like a trap card. I set my trap card. I activate Red Eyes Dark Dragoon <laughs> in response to your attack. And then a Stardust Dragon. Can you imagine that? Flipping up a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and you're spelling trap. That'd be kind of funny. So honestly, not, I don't know what to feel about this Mr. Bags. I guess if you want cards like this, but it's, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of like fake cards personally. I like, I enjoy opening them and looking at them if they're like weird, but like these are like real cards that are just fake. You know what I mean? It's just like a fake version of a real card. So it's like, it feels weird. I don't know. All right, let's see what this one is. The God of Obelisk, the son of God. This is what I'm talking about. The son of God. I think that's actually the OCG name, though. The God of Obelisk, Exodia, the Forbidden One, Saint Dragon, the God of Os Osiris. I can't remember what his actual name is. We've got a left arm, right arm, right leg and left leg. So we've got a bunch of those shattery foil ones. So, OK. All right. More cool stuff. More cool stuff. Here is a deck box. We also have one more thing after this actual booster packs. Is that what's going on here? Actual booster packs. So we've got legendary duels, duels from the deep, possibly one of the worst sets in Yu-Gi-Oh history. It's very bad. We've got three packs of that. So three packs, all bad. So not that great there, but let's see what else there is. So far, I don't know their pricing, but like, not gonna lie, there's not a lot making me like, oh, we really need to buy, you know, get another one of these, you know what I mean? Because it's mostly fake cards, which I, you might like those. So if you're interested in that, I guess. But then like, you know, this is a bunch of random super rares. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, Call the Mummy is actually worth a couple bucks, I think, actually. So couple of cards there uh we got a so these look like mystery lots or something or something like that i don't know but i'm guessing you're not going to get anything too crazy in these you know in a mystery lot oh there's an obelisk so we know that from the back so this is legendary collection or yugi's legendary deck so you know it was widely distributed but it's still an ob obelisk that's cool and token is cool and then a couple of rares which you know it's just rare so nothing too crazy there a couple more of these let's see if there's anything like crazy like so far like I'd say we haven't pulled anything over like a dollar or two. Let's see if there's anything else. Token, that's pretty nice. Red Dark Magician, I think, is like $3. So that'll be like our best card so far. And of course, you know I like Red Dark Magician because this used to be my profile picture for YouTube and everything. So pretty cool card there. Tokens are always nice to grab. I, I, those are always nice. So that was probably the best card we've pulled so far is that Red Dark Magician. Okay, we've got uh, another rare, a Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's MVP one. This, I think, is around a dollar, something like that. Marbled Rock. These are just literally comments out of Lead 9. So those are, those are worth less than zero dollars but you know blue eyes white dragon that's pretty nice okay so every time they've given at least a decent card so like a one dollar card but nothing insane yet i don't know if there's like ratios on this stuff we got a slifer so that's also from yugi's oh no that's legendary collection one i think that's even easier to find than yugi's legendary decks more legendary collection nine i don't think they even told me they were sending these because i don't remember this at all obelisk the tormentor and they all have all the gods with different versions that's kind of funny so mismatched set there okay very nice very nice two to 
go. And then we have a couple more things to end it. Well, we of course have those packs, but I guess we can open for the Ghost Rare Forbidden Droplet. There's a nice looking version of the Winged Dragon Raw from the tens. Speaking of tens, guys, who's excited about the tens? They're coming out soon. We are going to have a discount code with Sassy Auto, so don't forget, like if you're going to buy some of those, check out the discount code affiliate link. It supports me. I appreciate it if you guys do that. Also, uh, it's going to be a great set. It's going to be a really great set. So hopefully we'll have some good luck. Okay, another Winged Dragon Raw. So a lot of God cards in that. That's a uh, LDK2. Okay, those God cards have just been printed a lot. There's a lot of different versions. So far, not really the craziest mystery box ever, but you know, that's, oh, giant hand. There it is. There's one. They must have pulled one out of this box and put it in there. Okay, two packs to go. But yeah, that's how it goes with mystery packs, especially like hand packaged ones, especially. You know, there's not a lot of, oh, this shark got an ultra rare. That thing is way off centered. Oh my goodness. But ultra rare, we'll take it. Yeah, they're not all great. And uh, not saying this is like the worst thing ever, but yeah, it's, it's so far not that exciting. I mean, you if you buy a mystery pack, the problem is it's like, if you don't get something great, then it's like, you know, is this like a scam? You know, is this how it always is? Cause like they said there was only three other ones. So there'd be four total. Like if all four are like this, then there's not much going on there. So, and like, I mean, if these are like $10, then that's one thing, you know, then that's not bad. But if they're like a hundred dollars, you know, it all depends on the price point. Let's see. This is the last part. The final part, the get oh the giveaways. <laughs> Let's see what the we're gonna add to the giveaway. Let's see if the giveaway is, is is better than the actual pulls. Let's see. I'm trying not to reveal these all at once, but they're very taped together. So we have a five-headed dragon. Okay. We've got another god card. I think I'd rather have this one than the ones we got, but that's one you guys get to get, which is pretty cool. Obelisk the Tormentor. Ultimate rare god god magician. This was in a 10, so it was guaranteed, but still cool and ultimate rare. Another obelisk. A dark magician from Dupo. I haven't seen this artwork in a while. That's pretty cool. And then a blue eyes white dragon. So a few decent cards there for your giveaway. So if you guys want that in as included in my giveaway as well, don't forget to like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you think about the mystery box slash package whatever it was i would say not great for the most part but you know and maybe the other ones are better who knows so if you guys enjoyed it make sure to let me know in the comments and if you guys enjoy videos like this make sure to subscribe to the channel shout out to tcg trust cards tomefo show tomato juice daxter jt chill puffins of doom ernesto deanda squirtle flexi boy dizzy stanley mike nance mimic gecko ian musa junior barding john nolan and untie show thomas mclean and seth fisher thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time Peace.